Why are we drawn to paint something? Why uh, do we have suddenly an interest in something? I thought maybe we could have a chat about the uh, inspiration uh, on the channel, maybe about the creative process, and I am really fascinating uh, with all of this. <laughs> after my uh, yesterday painting and in fact uh, when I saw the roses all these gorgeous lovely roses they were beautiful but I wasn't especially drawn uh, to paint it so it seemed that even having some lovely thousand of lovely roses in front of you is not enough to trigger your inspiration sometimes uh, as for me I usually need something else, something more. Sometimes it can be just an idea of a painting about uh, knowing how I am going to interpret it with uh, watercolor, you know, and I'm going to splatter, to drip, to make negative painting, to work wet in wet, or this kind of thing can really trigger my inspiration and uh, pushing me to want to paint it. But in this case, it's what's happened uh, later that uh, made a difference in my inspiration. It's going to seem really silly, but uh, I I kept uh, walking in the rose garden and I saw this huge petal on the ground and so I picked the uh, petals and uh, started thinking oh I could uh, paste uh, them on my sketchbook and then I start kind of uh, playing with the petals uh, with making some slow motion video trying to make them blow away in the wind and I think that finally by doing so I sort of created a connection with, uh, with the, them, with the subject and that's uh, why afterwards I decided to paint the roses, not only because they were beautiful, but because I felt connected with them, because I touched the petal and I kind of experienced uh, something with them. Who are you? We are roses. We are roses. My rose is just a common rose, but she told me she was the only one of her kind in the whole universe. I didn't really thought about it uh, at first, but this kind of a rose story uh, made me think about the little prince, and that's quite relevant with my point because when they th when they think, oh, but that's not a normal rose, that's a special rose, not because that's the only rose in the world, but because it's your rose and because you feel connected with it. Maybe that sounds a bit uh, cheesy, but I think that probably to be inspired for art, for painting or everything, you feel you have to feel connected with your subject and that it's become a bit yours. It's not a common rose. She is your rose. It is the time that you have devoted to her that makes your rose so important. She's my rose. I 
And by the way, I already felt uh, that way with some kind of uh, subject. I can't really remember which one uh, right now, but I remember feeling, oh, this is my tree or maybe my building or maybe my door because I remember painting it and creating a connection with the subject. And this is also the reason why I work in a sketchbook and I don't really like to make painting on some separate sheets. That's because I like to have a connection and to make it in the sketchbook because it has a meaning, because it's something from my life, also from my experience. And that way I have a reason to paint it. And my sketchbook is a kind of illustrated journal. So I want the subject to be relevant. And so, yeah, for sure, I need this connection for this too. for inspiration you can have two choices to follow to try uh, to trigger your inspiration one would be try to think about what you feel connected with this day and that uh, could be a good idea for painting and the other one would be a bit like what i did the other day just going around and doing things and start interacting with your environment and your surrounding so that at some point you feel connected by it and you think oh i want to record this in my sketchbook because it's relevant, it's important, it has meaning and this will uh, trigger your inspiration as well. about it. Feel free to share in the comment if you have some special tips to trigger your inspiration. That's probably not the last uh, video I am doing about it, so it could be nice uh, to share ideas and I could include uh, this in my next uh, videos as well. Please subscribe to the channel for more inspirational videos, art chatting and artist uh, vlogs. See you soon! Happy creating everyone! <laughs>